thought we were shooting today. Oh hell no. This guy is always on some shit, bro. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Yo, JT. Yo, what are you doing down there, man? Come on. What were you doing on the ground, man? Come on, let's go. Bro, we gotta shoot. What just happened, bro? What do you mean, man? I told you to come over, and I found you on the ground when I came outside. Man, you need some sleep, JT. Bro, I'm never going to sleep, bro. Wait, what? Wait, what is that? What? Hell no. Hell no. What's going on shoe gamers and welcome back to the channel today we have a very special episode for you for as far back as we can remember the sneaker world has been influenced by the holiday season and Halloween has arguably produced some of the best holiday themed sneakers of all time so today for my shoe gamers exclusively on shoe game MD I am bringing you the best the best Halloween sneakers of all time. With some friends of mine, I was able to compile the best Halloween sneakers and I'm gonna bring them to you guys here in person. Later in the episode, I'm gonna reveal to you my top five best Halloween sneakers ever. But before we get to that, let's talk about some honorable mentions. Starting off our honorable mention list, we had to start with the classic Air Force One. You're looking here at the two to the right as the skeleton, the Air Force One skeleton. There's been four different colors of the Air Force One that have come out. The purple, the orange, and then the more exclusive white and black pair. The Halloween Air Force One was also released last year. The cool part about this Air Force One is that when you stand in the light and come into a dark area, you got Halloween features that glow in the dark. Pretty cool, especially if you're going to a Halloween party or trick-or-treating with your kids. To round off our Air Force One honorable mention list, we had to discuss the Air Force One Frankenstein. You either hate it or you love it. It's got that bright neon green patent leather all over it with that nice red stitching on it to commemorate Frankenstein. If you're more of a hype beast, the off-white mid blazer All Hallows Eve. Not really pushed as a Halloween shoe, but you could see obviously with the colors and the name, how it can be thrown into that holiday themed sneaker. Off the hype alone, this is going to be an expensive shoe. So if you're looking for something a little bit more luxurious, a little bit more fancy, but you still wanna stay in the theme of the holiday, this is probably the shoe for you. Before I reveal to you my top five best Halloween sneakers of all time, I'm gonna to bring to you guys a special guest. A fellow healthcare worker, the definition of a sneakerhead, and arguably one of the best SB collections in the world. I bring to you, Chris. Hey. Yo, yo. Before we get into the top five, I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about how me and Chris met. We actually met at a sneaker convention through some mutual friends. And talking a little bit, he revealed to me that he's actually a healthcare worker as well. I am a physical therapist. Chris and I, we got the same passion for sneakers and the same passion for helping people. And it's just grown into some genuine conversations about the love for sneakers. So when we're doing a top five best Halloween shoes of all time, we gotta get the best SB collector in town to team up with. Let's get into the top five best Halloween sneakers ever. Coming to you right now. Coming in at number five, we got the 2021 release Halloween Dunk Low Premium. Chris and I were kind of struggling back and forth what we were gonna put in our top five list. We had a good idea for the top three and four, but the number five one, you know, we really wanted to do something in person. Being that this is what, a general release from 2021, an easily obtainable shoe, and arguably, you know, one of the coolest Halloween shoes out. Definitely slept on. Yeah, I think so too. I think slept on for sure. They're a really affordable price on the shoe. And you're looking at it, it's got the colors that we all love, right? It's got the black, it's got the sail, it's got the orange, and the coolest part about every Halloween shoe, it's gotta glow in the dark. So as you expose them to the UV sunlight, not only do you get these cool creepy crawlers that come out on the black paneling and this crazy little eye in the back of the shoe, but 
the soles also glow in the dark, which make it a really, really cool shoe. Do you have this shoe? Yeah, I have a pair of these. You gotta have this shoe. It's easy to get. It's only 200 bucks right now. Came out last year and broke into our top five. So the Halloween Dunk Low at number five. Yeah, oh, my bad. Coming in at number four is going to be the Nike SB Dunk Low Night of Mischief. Yeah, number four. Oh, me. Right. Sorry about that. Damn. JT, cut that out. Like he said, the Night of Mischief SB Dunk Low. This one was definitely on our top five list. Had to be. The colors, the detail on the shoe came out in 2019. I love this shoe. I personally think the colors are amazing. Some people may not really like them. You kind of have to wear them within the Halloween spirit, but I think it's pretty cool. And on top of that, they did come out with a special box for it as well, right? Yeah, they did. The Night of Mischief, amazing details. JT, let's bring it in. Let's show them a couple of the details of the shoe. So obviously you're seeing the, the black suede throughout the outer panels of the shoe. We got the nice leather orange Nike check that makes it stand out. Hidden behind that side panel is that beautiful purple cobweb, spider web color that really gives it that Halloween appearance. The beautiful green, shine, the green vibrant uh, sole. You got the nice little spider accents there. On the back heel tab, this was the coolest part I thought of the shoe, was the trick or treat. They're not really a glow in the dark shoe per se, no. but if you see them in a black light scenario, the green does, does. it does pop, right? If you look on the toe box of the shoe, you got the little jack-o'-lantern stitching in there, which not a lot of people catch on that part of the shoe. The inner tongue is also pretty cool as well. On the tab, you got the ghost right there. And if you flip that under tab, nice little accent boo in there. Just some cool details of the Night of Mischief that I really love. I'm a sucker for the, oh, we didn't talk about the inner soles of the shoe. Got some Smash Pumpkin in there. Smash Pumpkins, not the band, but you know, it gives you that Halloween feel to it. The smashed pumpkin appearance that's in all the insoles. Halloween shoes always have these kind of weird insoles to them, right? Yeah, the SPs always have a little cool detail into the, the insoles on them. I love the details of it. I think it's really, really, really cool. And broke into our top five list at number four, The Night of Mystery. <laughs> Coming in at number three, the Nike SB Dunk Low Mummies. Mommy. 2021 release, very limited in the Nike SB Dunk Strike Box era. Arguably, arguably one of the best SB Dunk shoes in the Halloween theme. I was able to get my hands on these. I was super excited about it. And honestly, it's 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 a beautifully themed shoe. And that's the best part about the SB Dunks. The themes that they come up with, that's what sells you. That's what gets me and pulls at my little heartstrings. They called it the coconut milk color, yeah. which is supposed to be the wrap gauze from the mummy wrapping throughout the entirety of the shoe. They do have the peel away uppers and the peel away outers to reveal a color underneath. We actually talked about that a little bit earlier in the week. I didn't really like how it looked kind of torn, right? No, it was a little... Yeah. yeah. Not a fan of it. Eh. Eek. <laughs> Anyways, it's got the beautiful, like, goosebump-like pattern uh, letters on the front tab. And on the back of the shoe, I think, is probably the coolest part of the entire shoe. It's got those eyes that are looking at you peering through the gauze. Uh, like basically like a creepy mummy at nighttime, which is really cool on the front toe box It's got a pretty cool little spider that's revealed there the inner soles of the shoe as well Have kind of like a funky appearance like all the SB dunks have this one actually has toilet paper Sitting in grass so make it seem like you're wrapping yourself in toilet paper And we were talking about the release of the shoe, which was pretty crazy, right? Yeah, the release was crazy for this even some stores had people dressing up as mummies to get the shoe That was a really cool part of the release and it made it super limited and got people engaged in going after these shoes Dressing up like a mummy Pulling up to the store and all you got was a raffle ticket. Hopefully you got it. I don't think you got it like that. No, definitely not. This was a pretty limited release. The price range on this is uh, around $400 for the shoe. Honestly, I'm thinking about getting another pair of these because of how limited they are and because I have rocked them and I wanted the SP. Yeah. 
underneath the insole of the shoe on the heel tab, you got these pretty cool things here. The beetle that you're stepping on, like an ancient Egyptian beetle, and then you got eek on the bottom of the shoe, which makes it seem like you're stepping on the beetle, squishing and things like that. So just nice little added details that I, that I love that Nike does about these SDs. What's your favorite part of the shoe? Another detail that I really liked was the Eye of Horus on the, the inside of the tongue. It's got the Eye of Horus, which is the ancient Egyptian sign that uh, represented well-being and protection. So that was another little added detail to the shoe. We were looking at this as well, underneath tab. I'm not too sure exactly what they mean. If anybody else out there knows it, go ahead and comment below. Let us know what that means. And of course, the biggest detail of the shoe and the one that really stands out, the ability of the shoe to light up when exposed to UV light. That might be the brightest glow on any of the dunks that I've seen. You know, honestly, I would have to say that when I have these in my sneaker room and they're sitting in the boxes, especially if some light comes through in here and you walk in here before you turn the lights on, does that happen to you as yeah, well? Yeah, all the time. The sole of the shoe, you could actually see them lit up in your sneaker box. So imagine wearing these on Halloween night, you're walking down there, you're dressed as a mummy, and then you see this coming your way. Pretty cool shoe. One of my favorite, favorite SB Dunks of all time. Coming in at number two is the Nike SB Dunk High. Jason Voorhees. Chill, shoe game. My bad. Now that we got the creepiness out of the way, we got the Nike SB Dunk High Jason Voorhees. Wow. I mean, this was an easy pick for the number two Halloween sneaker of all time. The Nike SB Dunk High Jason Voorhees. What did you say? Easy pick. Easy. Easy, yeah. One of the top three, definitely. It was supposed to be dropped as a horror pack with three shoes in that horror pack back in 2007. One of them being the Jason Voorhees, which Nike didn't actually call it that. They couldn't for licensing purposes. Number two is supposed to be the Dawn of the Dead Air Trainer. They're supposed to re resemble the movie poster. And then the third one of that pack is supposed to be the one and only. The Freddy's, the SB Dunks that never formally dropped. It's supposed to resemble the mask, the blood with the panels of the shoe. I mean, this is for any SB collector, for any sneakerhead, for any Halloween themed shoe, definitely on our top two list. And we have it here in person. This is my first time seeing this shoe ever. So Chris, I appreciate you letting us take a look at this. No it's problem. awesome for all the fans to be able to see this. And really, you're only able to see this shoe at a, at a sneaker convention or something like that, not in Pretty person. Much, yeah. I thought when I first saw it, when you first looked at the pictures, the panels on the outside were, it looked like suede, to be honest, but it's actually leather throughout the shoe. Yeah. Really nice done leather. And then the toe box has a different leather appearance. It almost looks like a cracked leather. Yeah, and it wears down as well. And it does wear down as you wear them. That's pretty neat. And it's supposed to resemble like blood splatter. Obviously, Jason did all these crazy killing sprees and, you know, the, the movies that we've seen. But and then obviously the white on the back panel, that's supposed to represent his mask that he wore. So amazing shoe right now. This shoe, very hard to find DS. Very. And if you do find it, that's you have any guesses what it would be DS? Definitely over a thousand dollars, probably around twelve hundred, maybe. Highly sought after shoe. Really, for any SB collector, this is a, a, a shoe that you want in your collection. And we got it here in person. Thanks to Chris, man. Appreciate it. Not a problem. Number two, the Jason Voorhees. Chris, what everybody's been waiting for. Our number one Halloween sneaker of all JT, what are you doing with the lights? Bro, it ain't me. Are you serious? Bro, black like you didn't forget to pay the Hello? Chris? JT? Guys? Shoe game? <laughs> this isn't funny, man. I heard you were looking for me. Yo, Chris, my bad, man. The lights and everything, oh, JT, we're good? Good yeah, sorry about that, man. The filming, you know, it's just, I'm, I'm so sorry, man. I, I, we're good on the lighting now. You okay? Was I dreaming? Uh, I don't think so. No, we're filming the Halloween episode. Anyways, 
Okay, I'm glad you're okay. Take two. The number one Halloween sneaker of all time, and arguably the best SB Dunk ever. The Nike SB Dunk Low Freddy Krueger. Chris, how did you get these shoes? These were traded to me uh, at a dunk exchange for a DMP 611 pack and some cash. Wow, the holy grail. It is hard to find, and the story behind the Freddy Krueger makes it that much more special. New Line Cinema sent Nike a cease and desist once they saw photos come out of the shoe. Because of the sweater on the shoe and the sweater being trademarked, it was too close of a resemblance to Freddy Krueger. So that shoe was taken out. Fortunately enough for sneakerheads, 26 pairs got out to a sneaker shop in Mexico, released with the box. The rest of the shoes were sent to be destroyed. They got oil poured on them to be incinerated. Before it could get to that process, a Nike employee, very, very smart Nike employee, grabbed a bunch of pairs and took them out. We don't know how many they grabbed, but we know that there's some pairs out there. Came out alive, just like Freddy Krueger. It was supposed to be a little bit lighter on the side panels, right? Yeah. What gives it that darker appearance? Some say that there was oil on them. The side paneling, the brown side paneling of the shoe is supposed to represent Freddy's burnt face. The side panel and the toe box is supposed to be Freddy Krueger's notorious sweater. Funny little inside story about that. The initial picture when it came out of the shoe and New Line Cinema found out about it, there were thicker sweater stripes on the shoe. So there are some early pairs with the thicker stripes. Nike decided to make the stripes thinner, thinking that they were going to be outsmarting New Line Cinema, and then they sent them the season to desist. Blood splatter on the shoe is another point that we could talk about as well. Yours has the pretty red splatter, but there are some pairs with different splatter on them, right? Yeah, there's some I believe that have the black splatter instead of the red. Exactly, there's some black polka dot splatter on there, there's some red. Depending on which pair you got, there's a mix of them. The silver of the Nike check is supposed to represent Freddy's claws. The insole of the shoe has Freddy's burnt face. I can't believe we have this shoe in front of us right now, man. It is a beauty and I understand why so many sneakerheads fell in love with this shoe and have it on their all-time grill. The last size nine that sold, from what I remember, in 2021, sold for over $30,000. Damn! Well, Chris, I mean, this is a $30,000 shoe. Not everybody can afford this shoe, but I got a little tip for you guys. If you're looking for something a little bit affordable and you're looking for a Halloween shoe and you're looking for it to be Freddy Cougar themed, I got the shoe for you. The Nike Air Max 95 Freddy Kruegers. The details on these shoes are amazing. A good alternative for under 200 bucks, this is the shoe that you wanna get. Chris, we appreciate you so much for allowing us to see these. For all the shoe gamers out there, for the sneaker community who's about to see all these shoes in person, we appreciate you so much. Thank you, my friend. Thank you for having me on, man. This wraps up the Halloween special on Shoe Game MD. What a top five. Make sure you guys comment below. Let me know what you think. And please remember to like and subscribe. If not, Freddy's gonna get you.